what's going on guys and welcome today to Egypt code works and um, this is the ninth installment in the series web development using PHP and MySQL and in this particular tutorial we'll be looking at something called while loops okay while loops is part of what we call the looping constructs in PHP programming it pretty much occurs in every other programming language okay now what's a loop a loop basically before we talk about while loop is a way to get a computer to perform a task repeatedly based on a condition now this is useful in a lot of um situations as we will see when we build our php and mysql project for this series uh, for example to populate the product page of a an online store and e-commerce application um a repetitive task has to be programmed into the system now don't worry about that at this stage what you bother about right now is to understand the syntax of while loop if you understand it today learning php and mysql you probably understand it meeting it in any other programming language pretty much all right so let's get to work and let's see how a while loop works now um this is a file here on my notepad plus plus and by the way before you can go ahead and do this make sure your xamp server is started this is my Apache web server. It started my MySQL server is also started. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, you've not set up your envir environment yet. I'll put a link in the description where you can see how you can set up your web server and your PHP environment for this code I'm about to write. All right, let's move on. So first thing, let me save this file. Save as. So I'll go to my AGIT CodeWorks folder. So I have a folder, I have a XAMPP folder in my drive. See, you would have that if you've installed your XAMPP server properly. HT docs and we have AGIT code works. So I saved the file here. So let's call it whileloop.php. All right, so let's see how the code works. So first of all, I put my PHP tag. Okay, now, before I go ahead and type, let me explain what's going on here. The whole idea of while loops is that human beings cannot manually repeat some task okay to a particular extent for example let's say i ask you to um type to write a code that will type out my name is chris or my name is john or my name is george or my, or my name is jack that's really easy you could do that but when i ask you to do it like 10 times okay mm, maybe you could still manage to write the code 10 times but now if i ask you to do it a million times or 100 times or 10,000 times now you have you need an automated way to repeat the task this is a very useful concept in programming very useful concept more on that later let's write the code and see how it works so first things first i need a variable let's call it count this is a variable that will help me control the loop starts from it could start from zero it could start from one let's start from one so the way while loop works now is this i want to actually print out something like hello welcome to my youtube channel but i want to do this 15 times automatically so i will say while followed by a condition just like an if statement i'll put a condition in here so the condition is while count is less than or equal to 15 meaning i'm doing this task 15 times okay while count is less than or equal to 15 once this condition is true that's the criteria once this condition is true perform this task let echo welcome to my youtube channel all right here we go so now next thing we'll do is add something we call the increment operator the plus plus that's increment operator is basically used for incre increasing the value of a var variable by one whereas the minus minus will be used for reducing the value of a variable by one also so we go plus plus and then we say count here all right so what's going happen? then put a comment call it increment operator simply put it increases this variable by one so what happened here is that let me just explain once more we have a variable called count it contains one so while specifying a condition while count is less than or equal to 15 run the code between these curly brace say welcome to my youtube channel uh, then let's change line here with the paragraph tag all right you say welcome to my youtube channel then increase one to two 
loop come back here ask for this condition again if it's still less than or equal to 15 which is 2 yes it is you do this you do it for 3 4 5 6 until it becomes 16 then you break out of the loop after breaking out of the loop you can now take out a message that can say end of loop all right so the while loop ends there all right let's run this code and see what we have and see what we get all right i copy full part name to clipboard remember your code will not work unless you've installed and set up your environment properly okay i have a video on that how to set up the mysql and php server environment all right so we need to do this so we paste the full file path to clipboard from htdoc backwards local host so we run this so you see that welcome to my youtube channel that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen times just like i told you it would be all right so now um suppose i want the numbering to be behind it i could put my count variable here count okay so now we can say so one to fifteen all right so that's how the while loop works the while loop loops like i've mentioned before is useful for your wide array of reasons so go ahead do this write this code this will be super useful when we start running our project and in, in our next video we're going to look at another type of loop called the for loop okay okay so go ahead code along do this same thing and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and share the video if you find it very useful all right people i'll see you guys in my next video do have a wonderful rest of the day